All right, here we are today at Russ's Reef once again. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys some updates on what we've got going on here. The reef's been doing well. We've uh, got some new equipment. I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, this here is my Franken skimmer. This is a modified Reef Flow Orca 250. I put a 12 inch extension on it on top of having the Pro Cup on it. I have uh, replumbed it and put a bubble blaster 10,000 pump on here and let me tell you this pump here pulls a ton of air in. I'm running the uh, I'm running about 120 SCFM out of this thing right now and it's just gotten broken in this week and as you can see this thing is just pumping the goo out. Had a, a week worth of break in time to, uh, to build up enough DOC but this thing is working phenomenal. Now we're going to take a look. You can take a look in this neck. You can see how nice and consistent the bubbles are. Nice frothy foam. As we come down here, you got a nice slow upward. And down here in the in the main chamber, we are not just little micro bubbles. This thing shreds water like unbelievable. Right now we're running just a little bit over 100 SCFM. I can crank it up, I can just bury that thing if I want to, but at that point it's just too much air. I made a few uh, things to try to make this as nice as possible to adapt everything, being this is all metric to American, or standard or whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, it ended up worked very well. We'll take a good look inside that cup. Show you what we're getting. Ooh, yummy, yummy. This is definitely not what you want for dinner. I've also bought a uh, a vast marine swabby, and uh, this is definitely a good. If you're gonna have a nice big skimmer, a neck cleaner is a definite must. I couldn't believe how much it improves the performance of this unit. Now over to the fish. Alright, here's the tank. As you can see, we're doing uh, doing well with the tank. Everything's coming back. Looks a lot different than the hair algae bomb I had a couple, four or five months ago. But I think I've got the bulk of my aquascaping done. I've got I've changed over to the RW20 pumps and they are way, they're very nice flow. They're quiet, they've got a very wide flow and I only run these things at about 50%. Anything more than that and they're just too much even in this big tank. I put them on wave mode at 100% one time and just about had water going out the ends of the tank even with the ledge on the top. We've gotten quite a few new corals in here. Some of them are a little uh, little stressed like that. That's a millie right there. But it's starting to open up. We got an orange lapastria right there. I can't wait for that to get big. Got some firefish. As you can see, that everything is uh, knock on wood. We're hair algae free and doing well. Uh, the other piece of equipment I wanted to show you guys that I've got, and I've only got 
a little bit of time using these so I can't really evaluate them, but the PAR numbers are insane on these things. We checked them last night with a PAR meter and all the way up they were about 10 inches underneath the light, they were at about 2200. I got these, uh, and these are just the cheap $100 LEDs you get on eBay. I put them in between, just use pretty, primarily just as blue lights. I got sick of having the VHOs on there, and uh, the whole, three castles just weren't enough. So I took and bought those. The whites, you can see I got them on, and I've, I've got them on like maybe, ten, I got them on the lowest setting, which I think is like 10%. And the blues, I've only got set at like 50%. But I'm still running two of the castles, and then I got four of those in between. But like I said, I just barely got them on. There's my crowd of skinny fish. <laughs> I'm looking for food, as they always do. I, uh, I had this orange shoulder tang here. And uh, it's one of my favorite fish in the tank. And he started picking at my red... Uh, my red brain corals and I couldn't figure out why and just out of the blue I decided I changed up and started feeding them purple nori instead of green nori and knock on wood for some reason he has completely quit picking, picking at anything I don't know if it's something that he uh, needed something different they needed in their diet or what but they definitely like the purple nori and it's got him to quit picking at things so look across the back side but yeah I'm pretty pretty excited everything's really starting to take off getting new equipment we're getting everything up and running the way we want it I had to put that uh, WP60 there blowing down on that uh, on that monopora because it was starting it wasn't getting any water flow and it was starting to recede in the center once I put that in there and tied it in it uh, all came back it's doing very well I just didn't want to have it start dying out from the center out I bought some super magnets from magnets for less to couple these pumps and let me tell you they're two inch thick uh, or a two inch round one inch thick neo neodymium magnet and they are dangerous as heck when you have them when they're not coupled on the glass they got a 250 pound pull, pull force a piece I almost lost a finger once already to them <laughs> but here's a quick look over the top we got the uh, frag tank over here just kind of got a bunch of stuff in it right now. That's what it's going to be. My mean clownfish that bites me all the time. Come right up out of the water to get me half the time. And I've got a, uh, I've got a sea hare in here somewhere. I don't see him right now. But uh, he, he eats all the hair algae in here. And when he runs out of that, I've got him to actually start eating nori. So... Hopefully I'll be able to keep him for a long time because he's pretty cool looking. Yeah, if you got a tank with one inch thick glass and you're trying to couple power heads to it, I'd recommend magnets for less. They are uh, best price I could find and they're mag you can get the magnets fairly cheap and then you can just couple them right through the glass because anybody who's tried knows they uh, sucks when a power head falls down in the sand starts turning sand all over the place I know that from experience so here's one last look we're gonna do a quick look over the top I hope you enjoyed this segment of Russ's Reef, where we don't always drink beer and look at fish tanks and make fish tank equipment.
But when we do, we do a lot of it. Wow!